let's look at exponent laws and extending those to not just numeric or rational expressions. Let's look at algebraic expressions. So algebraic expressions, an example of one is x cubed y squared. So this is an algebraic expression because it has variables with exponents. So we're going to take this and multiply it by x squared y to the negative 4. So how do we use exponent laws to deal with this type of an expression? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to collect our like terms. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to collect my x's together. So I have x cubed times x squared. And then I'm going to collect my y's together, which is y squared times y to the minus 4. The next thing I'm going to do is to identify the exponent laws. If I look at this, I have a product here with my x's, so that's my product of powers. And again with the y, I also have a product of powers. So this one is simple, product of powers with x and product of powers with y. So I'm going to go ahead now and apply those, the exponent law. So I have x cubed plus 2 times y squared plus negative 4. Now I can go ahead and simplify and solve. So x cubed plus 2 is 5, and y to the 2 plus a negative 4 is y2 minus 4, so that gives me y squared. So my answer to this expression is x5 y squared. Let's take a look at another example. So for this example we have a coefficient of 10, a to the 5 b cubed, all divided by coefficient of 2, a squared, b to the minus 5. So in this one, I'm going to collect all my like terms. So I'm going to separate out my coefficients and then multiply it by my a to the 5 over a squared, multiplied by b cubed, divided by b to the minus 5. So I've collected my like terms together to make it easier for me to see. Next, I identify my exponent law, and as we see, they're all, this is the quotient of powers law, because they're all fa fractions. We have quotient of powers law. We have it three times. So that means I can go ahead and solve based on the quotient of power law. So of course, I can simplify 10 divided by 2, that equals 5, and I can write a to the 5 minus 2 and b to the 3 minus minus 5. Remember I have a negative 5 on the bottom so I have to keep that with my 5. Finish solving so a to the it's 5 times a to the 3 and b to the 8. Now I'd like you to try a couple. I'd like you to try a with m to the 4 n to the negative 2 times m squared n to the 4th and b of 6 x4 y minus 3 all divided by 14 x y squared. Pause the video and come back and find the answers. Welcome back. For a you should have an answer of m to the 6 n squared and for b, you should have an answer of 3x cubed divided by 7y to the 5.